Hello again. So this micro lecture is going to be on calculating and graphing weights. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. So weights, we talked about last time, its variable is W. The units are N, or Newtons in this case. Uh, in kind of everyday life here in America, we use pounds, uh, but in the metric system, we'll use Newtons. And to calculate weight, it's very simple. It's just mass times gravity. So it's mass times a form of acceleration. In this case, that acceleration is gravity. Usually 9.8. You can also use 10 in this class. That's totally fine, no matter what we're doing. Uh, but if you are by any chance on another planet or the gravity value is different, you'd use whatever the gravity value is for that location. We can also see that this is linear. So we can see that the y value would be weight. And then slope and the x value would be represented by mass and gravity. We could switch those depending on what we're going to put as our x value. And then the other one would become the slope. So in this lineup, it would be mass as your slope. And then gravity would be like graphing it versus different amounts of gravity. Um, but what we're going to do in a second is actually keep uh, gravity constant and look at the amount of mass there is. And what we'll get is a linear relationship with the slope of gravity. So that brings us to our first calculation. So weight equals mass times gravity. We're going to plug in for masses from 0 to 6 kilograms and see what that looks like. If we plug in for our first values, we can see a mass of 0 times 9.8 for the value of gravity comes out to a weight of 0 newtons. So we would plot that value right there. If we plug in for 1 kilogram, then what we get is 9.8 newtons. Or if you're using 10, it would be 10. If you're plugging in for 2 kilograms, then that would be about 19.6 newtons. Um, by plugging in 3, 29.4 newtons. 4 kilograms would be 39.2 newtons. 5 kilograms would be 49.0 newtons. And 6 kilograms would be 58.8 newtons. And what we get is a linear line or linear trend. So this is a linear relationship between the two because there's no squares, there's no inverse, there's no like negative 1 power or anything like that. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms.